Hey guys, this is Darko. In this video, I'll show you recommended picture settings and tips for watching content on LG's 2020 OLED TVs. I'll be demoing this on 55 inch C10 unit, which I calibrated in a manual way, but also using automatic calibration in Kalman 2020 calibration software. First, I'll long press gear button and go straight to settings menu. And here in picture section, I'll click picture mode settings and show you this list. So currently I'm feeding SDR content to the TV and TV therefore is in SDR mode and the following presets are available. As you can see, it's quite extensive list and by default, you will get TV in echo mode with very oversaturated colors and definitely not recommended to enjoy content as content producers want you to. So definitely my recommendation is as soon as you get this TV, you should use either cinema, filmmaker mode, expert bright room, or expert dark room. These are the most precise out of the box and they give really precise colors and overall picture. I would just like to highlight that for expert bright room, you should switch color gamut option to auto, otherwise you will also get oversaturated colors by default. I did calibration in expert bright room, so I'll click on this one and show you settings. Now these are my recommended settings, but uh, you should adapt them to your environment and to your preferences. First control is OLED light and this control affects the volume of light or how bright the screen is. This is control you should adjust for your environment. So in my case, I set it to 70, but maybe you need to increase it or decrease it depending on your preferences. OLED light is related to one option in the menu before, I'll go back, and this option is called energy saving. Here you have different options, and if you want light sensor built into your TV to adjust brightness, to adjust OLED light value, then you should set it to auto. But what's important, it will adjust only to a lower value, so it can only decrease brightness not increase. So it's not really working uh, like on your smartphone, but in a different way. And usually it's very subtle change. I did some tests, uh, but you know, it's always decreasing brightness a little bit compared to off value. So it's coming to maybe minimum uh, preset. You can also turn off the screen if you're listening to music, which is one of the tips for uh, making sure your OLED TV is working fine for many years to come. Next option is contrast. This is basically white level and it was good by default at 85. There are patterns you can use to verify this on your unit. I will put links to them in the description. Brightness is black level. So here this control you can adjust if uh, you're having trouble seeing details in shadows and so on and I check this, you can increase it up to value of 55 without the entire OLED screen to light up uh, and basically uh, this way you can get perfect blacks but still increase the amount of details you see in shadows. So between 50 and 55 or if you need you can also decrease the value. But I kept it at 50, it was working fine in my environment and for me. Sharpness at 10 gives neutral sharpness so you can see exactly correct details without any artificial sharpening. Of course, for some lower resolution content, you can increase this value as you see fit. Color and tint I kept at default. These are controls from old days. Today we have more sophisticated color management system controls which offer much better color adjustment. 
Next we have advanced controls and here we have dynamic contrast which basically adjusts gamma so it's turned off. Super resolution turned off also. Color gamut I recommend to set it to auto therefore TV will automatically map proper and display correct colors depending on input signal. Gamma 2.2 in bright environment you can go with 1.9 or 2.4 or BT 1886 also for darker environments. White balance control like previous year you have color temperature warm to which is the most precise to get proper color balance and I recommend you use it. At first if you are coming from standard or echo picture mode uh, then you might see picture as having too much yellow or red and being kind of dim but I highly recommend that you give it a try and trust me after some days you will get used to these colors and they're actually more natural than in echo or standard mode. You also have controls to fine tune white balance and it's very extensive, you can do it in two points, so dark and bright area and then you can fine tune with 10 points or 22 points. There is also auto calibration enabled if you're using Kelman software, so you can really fine tune this to get perfectly accurate white balance on this TV. Also, you can adjust gamma with adjusting luminance control, so uh, you can really, really get excellent picture. Color management system basically enables you control primary and secondary colors, hue, saturation, and luminance. By default, with color gamut set to auto, it was very correctly and very accurately mapping uh, BT.709 color space, so colors were natural and very precise. But of course, if you have proper equipment, you can fine tune it using this system. Peak brightness will adjust luminance of the picture, so maybe if you're in bright environment, you can also enable this option. Next, coming back to picture options, here we have noise reduction, again very effective already at low, so if you don't like film grain, you can very effectively filter it out using this control. MPEG noise reduction not really effective for removing of those compression artifacts and smooth gradation will a bit smooth out this bending you might see on some lower uh, resolution or lower quality content. Black level auto, so for the first time now LG is offering this auto option so you no longer need to check <laughs> what is type of input signal to get proper contrast and, and see proper information on the screen but you can set it to auto and I tested it it's working fine so no reason not to use it. Next we have Real Cinema which I recommend for watching movies but Real Cinema is enabled only if you disable true motion option. Of course motion I care I tested but really I think it's better to keep it turned off. Okay coming to true motion here I recommend out of this presets user one where you can fine-tune a judder reduction so if you want soap opera effect then you can enable it here and also as this is a 120 hertz screen here you can significantly improve motion resolution with the blur control so I set it to 10 and also this year we have OLED Motion Pro which is black frame insertion but now you have options to fine-tune it so it's no longer on and off but now you have low, medium, high and automatic and each will give you a small increase in motion resolution at the expense of brightness. So for SDR content, if you really want the best motion resolution, then definitely I would recommend either low or medium because high does offer the best motion resolution, but you will see flickering. And uh, basically, if you're sensitive to flickering, it is best to disable this option. OLED TVs really offer great motion resolution, so 
uh, here at least you have option for watching sports to fine tune and to get even better motion resolution out of this TV. Okay, back to picture options, that's the last option, so now we can go back to apply to all inputs, which will copy settings to other inputs, very useful. And at the end, option that I don't recommend that you use once you adjust everything. I recommend that you use this only if you want to come back to default and then start adjusting settings like you want. So. Uh, I saw your comments and some of you were questioning, hey Darko, why are you showing all those adjustments? And then you come to reset and say this will reset. Yes, this is just controlled to reset, but I'm not saying that you need to use it uh, after you do all these adjustments and you're happy with how picture looks. Uh, maybe you noticed that last year we had AI options here, but now this year they are moved to a separate menu inside the general menu and here you have AI service which offers several options three of them are for picture and two are related to sound basically AI picture pro is using deep learning techniques to improve picture uh, last year I said I haven't seen any improvement during C9 OLED testing this year since now I have six months already this C9 OLED TV. I can still say the same. I haven't seen any improvement and I focused on low resolution content, but really I haven't seen any difference whether this option is turned on or turned off. On the other side, we have AI brightness control and this is also related to uh, Dolby Vision IQ. Basically, this control will adjust brightness, so black level, depending on information TV is receiving from ambient sensor. And this is working and this is useful if you're watching content in bright room, as it will elevate those shadow details you might not see otherwise. Uh, of course, if you really want to see picture exactly as directors intend you to see, then of course you will disable it, but it can be useful especially for watching HDR content. And then auto genre selection, depending on what type of content you're watching, TV should be adjusted then to give you best picture, but uh, for me it's better that you keep it turned off and then stay with static settings which give you the best result. Now I'll come back to picture because here we also have aspect ratio settings. Um, I recommend that you keep just scan turned on, not, an, not at auto, but turned on because this will guarantee you will see exactly uh, all pixels on the screen and full information. Energy saving, so I recommend it's turned off and then you adjust OLED light to the level you prefer. We have additional settings, high comfort mode, which should be turned off. HDMI UHD deep color, so this will be automatically enabled when certain types of signal uh, for H HDR and so on are detected. Instant game response is for gaming to enable auto low latency mode. MD FreeSync Premium for gamers. We have options here also to be enabled for HDMI input you want and filmmaker mode auto change. So depending on metadata TV is receiving, filmmaker mode should be turned on, but currently there, there is no content which will trigger this option. And what is interesting also are recommendations from LG depending on input signal, and I need to show you this. So if I go to support and you have quick help, uh, in optimization settings. So currently I'm feeding from Blu-ray very high quality 24p content and you see recommendation coming from the TV is that we should be in standard picture mode with natural true motion so with soap opera and really not precise colors. So definitely 
Only if something is wrong and you want to troubleshoot the system, you should run this optimization. Otherwise, steer clear of it because it doesn't give you any benefit if you want accurate picture. Now regarding HDR content for HDR10, recommendation is to use cinema or filmmaker mode and for Dolby Vision cinema picture preset. Now if you use Dolby Vision cinema then you won't be able to use this uh, Dolby Vision IQ technologies because for some reason it is not enabled in that mode so you need to use some other picture mode like cinema home or standard and then if you want precision of cinema mode in standard mode you just copy settings from cinema mode it's very simple so uh, you can get both uh, this technology to adjust details in shadows and also accuracy of cinema mode finally uh, one comment Regarding auto calibration, if you start to perform it on your C10 or some other LG 2020 OLED TV, for HDR you should only use matrix LUT because if you use some other LUT te techniques available like lighting LUT, you will get results which are quite strange, such as in this scene you see in highlights instead of white, you get this like a very saturated red so i call this like bleeding mountains effect so definitely for hdr only use matrix LUT, which is the quickest and it gives level of accuracy you would obtain by using color management system within settings menus So that's it guys, these were my recommended settings for adjusting LG's 2020 OLED TVs. I also have documents including gaming tips in my calibration store. I will put links in the description. Overall picture quality is excellent already in default picture presets I mentioned, which offer the most accurate colors and plenty of controls are available if you want to fine-tune picture and especially using AutoCal automatic calibration or if you do it manually with color meter and software for calibration you can really get excellent results really no wonder this TV is also recommended for grading of HDR content because it's stable, it's accurate and it's really great to enjoy content from whichever source. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!